Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Salih Shalom here. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use three 6S batteries and connect them in series very easily to get 75 volts out for your electric paramotor or any other users. And also in this video, I will show you how to properly charge, discharge, store, uh, put them, put the batteries to storage level using the Sky RC PC1080 battery charger. So let's get started with the first task, which is to connect batteries in series and get 75 volts out. Now these are tattoo six cell uh, 10,000 milliamp batteries. Okay, as you can see right here, tattoo 10,000 milliamp six s 22.2 volt 2220WH 25C batteries. And they are using uh, AS150 connectors. Now if you look at one of the battery's connectors first, you will see that the red one is female, okay? So red one is female and the jacket, uh, I don't know if the jacket is male or female, but you can easily see the jacket. I believe we call that male jacket with the female connector inside. So that is your positive or hot and this is your negative, which is uh, also called ground, okay? And this one is a male bullet, okay? So AS150 are basically bullet connectors. So uh, this one is male in here. And the jacket is female, okay? So male uh, bullet, female bullet, and uh, male jacket and female jacket. This is what is the uh, correct installation of the AS150. Now, never ever, because this two will fit properly. Never ever, again, never, never, never ever connect this two together on the same battery because that will be a huge spark. And right after that, you will enjoy fireworks, explosion, and probably burn down your house and enjoy the rest of your life under a bridge. So never ever do that. Now, all these three batteries have the same thing. Connecting them in series to get 75 volt becomes very easy. Let's say this is battery one, this is battery two, and this is battery three. Okay, once again, look at it clearly and pay attention because here if you make a mistake, you're gonna regret that mistake for the rest of your life, okay? So battery one, battery two, battery three. Each of the battery has one black and one red cable. Okay, very easy. Now, as easy as one, two, three, battery one, red, battery two, black. As I have just mentioned, these two connectors will connect with each other, okay? So battery one, what? red battery two watt black just plug them without any issues no problems at all there will be no problem no spark nothing and now you have red on the battery two only red available on the battery two so you will plug it to battery three black once again battery two red to battery three black there you go now Battery three red and battery one black. They are hot with 75 volts, okay? So this two is going to provide you 75 volts out. So if you have your speed controller, plug this to the red, plug this to the black, and there will be a big spark. I hope your speed controller, like the one I use, they have a ground cable that uh, eliminates the spark. Otherwise, the spark is very big and damages the connectors. Okay, so make sure to use a speed controller with a spark eliminator circuit. So now this red and this black, they will provide you 75 volts and this is how easy it is to do not connect these two together. Okay, always keep them safe. So this is how you connect your 6S batteries, three batteries in series, 
and get 75 volt out now in case if you have more batteries let's say you want to connect um, uh, four batteries five batteries six batteries depending on how many volts you want you just do this red to black red to black red to black red to black and then finally the end connectors will have accumulative added all those volts okay so three batteries connected in series just like this very easily and they give you 75 volts and remember once again always always keep these connectors very nicely always remember to maintain these connectors make sure that because they are screwed okay make sure nothing is protruding out okay the metal part of the connector should not be coming out because if they are touching metal or other stuff or you know each other you're gonna have trouble so before usage before storage of these batteries with such as 150 connectors or bullet connectors always make sure that these are tight and even if they are getting touched here they will not get touched inside inside electrodes will not touch each other and again when you're storing the batteries a good idea is to take a rubber band okay and just wrap it around the connectors just like this okay and now you can safely store the batteries also if you have a 3d printer you can easily 3d print a cap for these connectors so you put a cap on and then there's no problem no issues no worries ever that these two connectors will ever touch any other metal or any other thing so these are the safety tips for the batteries okay and this is how you easily uh you know connect three batteries in series and get 75 volts out now let's talk about charging and storing the batteries each of these batteries uh each of these cells will charge to 4.2 volt when fully charged you should not drain the battery lower than 3.3 or 3.2 volt to be safe i will say do not go below 3.2 volts per cell but a fully discharged battery should have 3.6 volts per cell to be safe so do not discharge the batteries too low okay do remember this thing and if you want to store the batteries make sure the batteries are either 40 percent or 50 percent of their charge and then you can store them safely uh, if you don't want to use them for a month or two you should always check and uh, put the batteries to storage level that is each cell should be about 3.8 volts on each cell and then you can store it but do check them time by time now let's talk about charging okay now we have the sky rc pc 1080 charger you will turn it on from back okay now it's very easy there is a balance lead here and again red and black respective connectors so your balance lead will go just like this make sure that the pins are aligned nicely do not force this one because if you force this one and one of the pin just touches wrong to other pin you are in trouble then connect your red and connect your black now this charger can charge two batteries simultaneously um, at the same time as a master and slave so you might want to add another battery as well and similarly just add the battery making sure align the pins do not force the balance plug okay if the pins are not aligned red to red and black to black okay now i hope you can see very clearly all these menu systems we have a stop status start stop status and start buttons so we'll just start from here and it says lipo fast charge i don't want to do that by pressing the stop button a couple of times you can go through uh you know shift through the menu so i go battery meter you can click here and you can see how much the battery percentage is what is the charge level you can go to battery resistance testing you can do system setup there's there isn't much to set here you have a safety timer capacity cut off key beep buzzer 
and load factory settings. There isn't much, then it shows you version. So nothing much to set here. Now come back to LiPo balance charging. Press the start button and the balance charging starts blinking. And you can switch to storage if you want to store the batteries. Fast charge, it will charge the batteries very fast. I mean, faster than the normal. But I will not recommend doing uh, fast charge on your batteries, especially such big packs because it actually decreases the battery life. So just go to the balance charging, set your amps that you want to give. Now this is a 10,000 milliamp pack. You can easily charge it on 10 amp, but again, check with your battery manufacturer and battery specs. Batteries cannot take more amps for charging than they are designed for. So basically, you know, they, you will basically damage if you give them more. Now, for me, the factory told me that these batteries are going to have longer life if you charge them at 3 amp okay so I will set this down to 3 amp all right now comes the you know interesting part offline you will just press status and it will become master and slave okay now you will press and hold this button it will say battery check it will check the batteries connections and everything and it will start charging now you can choose the status and see the cells each cell value you can see fuel, how many percentage, and average cell voltage. Okay, pressing start, you can come back. So this is how you easily charge these batteries. And basically, if you want to charge single battery, you just have to make it offline. Right here, make sure it's offline, and it will do. Now, if you want to store batteries, you don't want to use them, you will definitely, you know, obviously go to storage, select storage, and set the uh, drainage current to let's say 2 amps okay once again if you are doing master and slave for two batteries otherwise just keep it offline press and hold and you can easily store these batteries safely store these batteries so this is how you use the you know pc 108 80 Sky RC charger. It's a classic charger, but it works very well. And this is how you charge and discharge the batteries. Make sure you do everything right. Always check the polarity right. Always connect the polarity right. Always make sure the connectors are not exposed, not touching each other. Always stay safe. And do remember to keep something safe in your room for safety purposes. Fire extinguisher, or in my case like this i keep a very nice uh you know fireproof clothes in my room which means if anything happens this can take up to 1200 degrees anything happens uh, god forbid you can easily quickly take the clothes put it on top of battery which is on fire wrap it around and take it to take it out to the safety Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have learned uh, good things today from this video. Always charge the batteries while you stay with the batteries. Never leave the batteries charging unattended. Always stay by the side of the batteries or in the same room when you're charging or discharging the battery. Stay safe and have fun.